Sarah Brooks, and I am here with Dr. Turner Fredrickson, and we are here for the 150th anniversary of CSUB. We're standing out here in front of the first building ever created. Dr. Turner Fredrickson, can you please tell us a little bit more about the first building ever built at CSUB? Uh, yes, uh, as you know, uh, Bakersfield was founded by New England uh, congregational abolitionists in 1861, and of course, uh, one of the first things they wanted to do in founding their new city was to build an institution for higher education. Uh, and so almost immediately after the founding of the city, they came out here and built this beautiful red brick edifice that you see before us here, uh, reflecting the Gothic architectural style that was so popular in those days. Uh, this is the oldest standing building on campus, and it's known as Old Main. It was the building that housed the administration and the classrooms. Hello, welcome back. We are with uh, Professor Hendrik Fredrickson, and we have moved on into what's now known as CSUB's headroom. So, tell us a little bit about this. Well, there's, this is really one of the features of the university that we're most proud of. Uh, it's the uh, Memorial Hall of Warren Heads. And uh, it uh, has an interesting story attached to it. Uh, in 1893, this is in the, the depths of the uh, financial panic of the late 1890s, uh, the, the campus was uh, very short on funds, and the uh, biology department lamented the lack of uh, specimens and examples and things of the instruction of students in mammalogy. Uh, it just so happens, as a stroke of great fortune, uh, a circus train on the Santa Fe Railway near here derailed, uh, wow. sending all these various uh, uh, ungulates uh, and hooded mammals uh, loose on uh, the farm field surrounding Bakersfield, where they became a nuisance for uh, uh, local farmers. And uh, so they were very happy when uh, students from the university, under the direction of uh, Professor Ted Murphy, the founder of the biology program here, uh, went out and uh, shot all these animals. Uh, have them stuffed and mounted uh, for instructional purposes, uh, and now it becomes uh, really one of the wonderful center pieces uh, of our of our campus. Wow, such a uh, tragic history for these animals. Um, and we're back. We're back with Professor Hittlesmacher, and tell us a little bit about this hallway. Oh yes, I really wanted to stop here for a moment on our uh, historical tour of the campus. This is really uh, one of the sort of underappreciated architectural landmarks uh, with some national significance. Uh, this is a skyway, uh, and because, you know, uh, Bakersfield is very cold, icy, snowy climate, you know, we're snowed under here four months uh, out of the it year every freezing. winter. It is freezing, I know, it is Yeah, freezing. it was very difficult for people to get back and forth, and uh, we had uh, some administrators in the early years who uh, had, had migrated here from warmer climates. Uh, they didn't like to have to go through the snow between the science building oh, so and that's the why the So the Skyway. Oh. Yeah, it was a solution to that. And then cities like uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul, and other uh, cities with a climate similar to ours uh, decided to uh, adopt this thing on a wider scale. But it all started right here in Bakersfield in 1953. And we're back. We're back with Dr. Riedelmeyer. We are now in front of what is the cafeteria today, but it has a very interesting history. Tell us a little bit about the history. Yes, well, as you know, uh, it was uh, funded by uh, Department of Defense, uh, Civil Defense money in the 1950s, uh, which turned out really great when we had that nuclear war in 1962. It provided shelter uh, to faculty and students. Unfortunately, the capacity uh, wasn't all that large, and only tenured faculty and students on the dean's list or higher were permitted in, so it did whittle down the population of the campus somewhat. But as you can see, the campus has rebounded uh, since that time period. Anyway, it was uh, uh, adaptively reused and remodeled, and now it's the, the cafeteria, uh, affectionately known as the food bunker here on campus. 